what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video and welcome back to the gt3 well guys when i was 30 years old i started investing in the stock market now i invested in the stock market through two different paths path one was i would take 10 percent of my pre-tax money that i was earning from my job and I would invest it in my company's 401k. My, my company would then turn around and match my investment up to a certain dollar amount. So that was the first thing I started doing at 30 years old, investing in my company's 401k, pre-tax dollars. The next path I used to invest in the stock market was what I call post-tax dollars. This was money that I had left over after I had paid taxes on my money that I had earned from my job. It was a small amount. I think in the in my pre-tax investment, I was doing 10%. And at that time, guys, when I was 30 years old, I was probably making, I don't know, $32,000 a year. So I was taking 10% pre-tax to that $32,000 a year roughly three grand a year and I was putting that every year consistently putting that into the stock market and what was I investing that money into well I was investing it into bank stock at the time I was working for a national bank very large bank and I thought well they're a large bank their stock seems to be doing well. Why don't I just invest in the company that I'm working for? Why not do that? I didn't know anything about investing, but that was my thought process. So I started doing that. I started taking that $3,000 a year, and, and, and actually I, I got paid every two weeks, so every two weeks they would automatically take that money out of my account and, and put it into my 401k. So every two weeks they would take a portion of that $3,000 out of my pre-tax paycheck and I would invest it into that bank's stock. And I just did that and did that year after year after year. As I would move around from one bank to the next, increasing my salary, I continued to stay with that strategy. 10%. Guys, I never invested more than 10% in my 401k over the last 20 years. I never invested more than 10% per year. So I would continue investing 10% a year in my 401k depending upon which bank I was working for. So that's the first path to investing I started down. The second path I started down was post-tax investing. So back to my $32,000 a year job, I would take that 10% pre-tax right off the top before I paid any taxes on the money. And then what was left over, I would pay my bills and then I would take whatever my savings were and I would take that money and invest it post-tax. But I stayed with the same strategy. I said, well, you know, I'm in the banking business. I like the banking business. I understand the banking business. I'm gonna take my post-tax dollars and invest them as well into bank stock. So those were the two paths I took, guys. I just continued to do that year after year after year. Delaying gratification, not really getting extravagant or doing anything outside of what I should be doing other than saving. Because here was my thought process. My thought process was, look, this banking thing, I'm not going to get rich in this banking thing, but it's going to provide me a really, really good living. It's going to provide me a lot of knowledge. And later on in life, when I'm ready to get out of banking, I'm going to have all of this knowledge that I've learned over the last 20 to 25 years. Plus, I'm going to have a really strong investment account. And that will give me the flexibility to be able to leave banking and go into a different career that I want to pursue for the, the last half of my career. 
And guess what, guys? That's what's happening today. A lot of people during the downturn in 2008, when banks were in all this big trouble and our economy wasn't doing well, a lot of people fled bank stocks and, and took their money out of the stock market altogether. I didn't. I stayed in. I doubled down. I continued to invest in bank stock even when bank stock wasn't a popular investment because I knew at some point the downturn would end and I'll have all of this these bank this bank stock at a low low per share price and as those bank stocks or as those banks started rebuilding their reputations and rebuilding their brands, I knew eventually they'd be profitable again and people would get back into investing in bank stocks and all of that sacrifice through those years where nobody else was investing in bank stocks. Everybody thought I was crazy. I stayed in it. And now I'm reaping the benefits of that because I have three big bank stocks that have done, I've doubled my, I've, I've almost tripled my money. And for me guys, that's huge. That gives me the flexibility to be able to leave a job in an industry that I've spent the last 25 years in, making six figures a year. You don't have to be a, a, a savvy business person. You don't have to be some stock picking guru. My recommendation is, is find things that you enjoy. Find companies that you enjoy uh, spending your money in these companies. And then invest in them. If you are into whatever you're into, if you're into the, you know, if you're into cars, find a car stock. If you're into pharmaceuticals, find a pharmaceutical stock. If you're into whatever you're into, there is a company out there you can buy stock and invest in that company if you believe in their mission and you believe in what they're doing. All I'm saying is, is that's where you start. You gotta start somewhere. You don't have to worry about Oh, I don't have, I'm only, I only have $50 a month I can invest. Start with that. That's $600 a year you can start investing. That's the key, guys. You have to start somewhere. You just have to get your thinking right, get your mind right, and start small. Don't worry about all these gurus out there. Oh, oh, did, did. no, start small. Take $50, $100 a month and start investing it. That's what I did. I mean, I had $3,000 a year, guys, I was investing. I started off investing, and I know some of you don't have $3,000 a year. That's why I'm telling you, $50 a month, $600 a year is a start. But what happens is, the power of compound interest is gonna kick in. Once that compound interest kicks in, guess what, guys? It's gonna be fantastic. So, that's what you gotta think about, that compound interest. Some, some months you're gonna buy shares at a higher price. Some months you're gonna buy shares at a lower price. But over time, you're gonna win, in my opinion. Guys, I'm no expert in investment. I'm not a licensed investment advisor. I'm just a guy who needed to figure out a way, did my own research, trusted my instincts, and I start investing a small amount consistently. And then 20 years later, it has done extremely well for me. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm no guru. I, I, I'm just a guy whose back was against the wall and I was tired of making excuses. And I just, one day I said, I'm not making any more excuses. And I was 30 years old, so I got a late start. I said, I'm not making any more excuses. I'm gonna start investing in my future and I'm gonna take this, this small amount of money and then over time, I'm gonna turn it into a large amount of money. And that's what I've done. You can do the same thing, guys. Take a small amount of money, be faithful, be consistent, have patience, and it'll work out for you. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. I really believe that. I'm a living example of that. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, and give me a thumbs up. It helps the channel, and it helps me too. But until the next one, guys, keep chasing your greatness. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. If you want two free stocks, Weeble is going to give you two free stocks when you open up a Weeble brokerage account and you can deposit any amount of money in that brokerage account. They're going to give you two free stocks valued up to $2,300.
That's right, guys. You heard me correctly. You can put $1 in that new brokerage account and Webull is going to give you two free stocks valued up to $2,300. So after the video, I want you to go to the description box of the video and I want you to click on the Webull link. Sign up for Webull, open your new brokerage account and get those two free stocks, man. And you're going to have an opportunity to start building wealth with that brokerage account. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.